WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently got all the U.S. indices and just about everything trading to the upside. The only thing trading lower on TV screens are the spot volatility index, which is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts wins at our back. For the S&P 500, the U.S. dollar index, which is down eight pennies, trading out at 93.91. You've got the Dow up 531 points. That's one and a half percent. S&P up 72, one and seven tenths percent. NDX 100, one and nine tenths percent, 273. Russell's up uh, one and four tenths percent or 31. Semis are up three percent, two and seven tenths, two and eight tenths percent. Really 89 points out there. In fact, let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. We'll change screens momentarily. We'll have the Dow Jones in the upper left-hand corner, and what we'll see as we take a look at the Dow, we can see a small little rectangular consolidation the question is is price going to be able to take out the top of that consolidation top of the consolidation really about the uh, 34,951 level if you can take that out then that would suggest that price probably moves back to 35,475 that's its TD9 breakdown resistance level the S&P 500, that should target right now its prior swing point high of about 44.65. You're trading at 44.35 now. If we take a look at the NDX 100, where is it headed to? That's a great question. Look, this is as bullish as we've seen the NDX 100 since the top on September the 7th. It's trading into a gap right now. Uh, but looks like it wants to continue to move higher, just as the Russell 2000 does, which wants to target the 2293 level. The semiconductors, they found their mojo. They had pulled all the way back and tested and rejected with lighter volume their TD9 breakout level or TD9 pattern from back on uh, August the 19th. And now price above its oscillator and change line suggesting a further move higher. The transports are on fire, but they are also going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count pattern today. That says the transports could top between today and Monday. Spot volatility, you can see that is below the 50-day exponential moving average. The XAU, uh, she is going to be in bar number eight, but the XAU is signaling a change in trend signal to us. Why? Because price yesterday closed above 128.69. That was the TD9 breakdown level over time. This suggests that the XAU wants to make a move to about 162.98. I say over time. Folks, stay tuned. David White, your favorite polar bear, he's up next to the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien will take us on home and join me tomorrow morning, uh, really at about 8 after 8, when I report the Trader's Edge show and would love to see you there live. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.